here with dogpearlsecrets.com. I've got Morgan here again. She's a brand new puppy, hasn't learned anything yet. Um, and I'm going to teach you the best way to introduce a stay. Stay is going to be one of your most handy commands that you can teach. Um, and it can be really, really frustrating to teach, especially with a really young puppy because they have a very, very short attention span. They're very insecure. And they just want to go, go, go and be busy around you all the time. And, um, and getting them past that point where they can control themselves and hold a stay for a second is a really, really critical point in training for them. So this is the best way to teach it that I've found. I like to start by using a crate because it prevents them from getting out. Um, and all you're trying to do is teach her that she can't get out until she hears a release word from you. Um, what I use is OK, and I make it extremely, extremely short the first couple times. All I want is for her to control herself for a fraction of a second. I'm just looking for some kind of control. Um, and a lot of times it, it takes a lot of time to get that. We'll see how she's going to do today. But if she can just show me a fraction of a second of self-control, I'll release her. And then I'll do it again and again. Stay, stay, stay. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. So the second she stops and looks up at you and waits to be told what to do, then you release her. The release is the reward. I don't use any treats when I'm introducing stay. Stay. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. And you'll see really quickly they start to build up a lot of self-control and they start to wait for you to say okay and release them. Stay. threshold, I push her back again and again and again until she just stopped trying and she stopped and looked up at me and waited. I'll do it one more time. Good girl. 